white tees have definitely been one of my most worn pieces this year especially this look because it just makes a really easy base layer you can just swap out the jacket in the bag and it really creates a whole new look which is really convenient for helping you get the most wear out of your clothes but also it's really good for traveling for example i've done this quilted jacket and like a tote bag for days that i'm working from home or working from the coffee shop and then just by changing into a leather jacket and carrying a handbag dad now you have more of a look that could take you to dinner if you wanted another way to style a white tee that's been really popular especially recently is under a sweater so with this same base layer this tee i would actually untuck a little bit for this look and pull this up on the side you can kind of see it tucked out underneath and you can also see the white tee at the collar and i would probably do the navy bucket bag with this look and make it another like work from home work from coffee shop run errands casual day look another way with these same pieces would be to kind of tie it or drape it around your shoulders so you could do like a little tie i think it would be more my style to just let it hang kind of draped i would also dress this look up by swapping out my sneakers for my little silver heels and then with this look if i was going a little dressier i need to be able to carry my computer i would probably do this old snake bag or if we were going to like dinner I could do the pillow tabby again which I need to wear more I'm just so scared of damaging her but I think it would be cute with this look staying with our original base look with this white tee you could also do a denim on denim look this denim is a vintage one that I thrifted a few years ago and I love how boxy the fit of it is for this I would probably do the bucket bag if I was needing to carry my computer and again the pillow tabby if I was like going to dinner or something. All right, back in the sneakers, I also do a white tee under a chunky knit cardigan a lot. And I like to just button like the first button. I do usually switch between a white tee that's like just a little bit looser like this one is and a white tee that's tight and cropped. Normally with this sweater, I would do the tight and cropped but for the sake of this video, I'm just gonna do the same white tee every time so these like chambray wide leg pants that i thrifted are another piece that i've been wearing a ton recently and i love the silhouette of them with this cardigan with the white tee and i tend to wear my golden goose most days but i do think with this like denim on denim look that we showed earlier some birkenstocks to be cute with that as well and with this look i would probably do the snake bag again or else this bucket bag Another very similar way that I've been wearing this white tee recently. Nothing groundbreaking, but just ripped jeans and then bomber jacket. And with this, I again really like the tabby. And then let's get away from the denim because I feel like that's so obvious. Okay, away from the jeans, you could also do a cargo pant, you know, the jacket of your choice. But if we were just going with this, I'd probably go with the snake bag just to add a little bit more detail. Now let's do some work looks. I do work from home and even whenever I worked in an office, it was very casual. So these may not work for you but they might be able to give you just a little bit of inspo of how you can take the white t-shirt into the workplace. Similar to the last look, but I traded the pant for one that is a little more dressy and swapped out the sneakers for my little heels. And then for the bag, I would go for a more structured shape to dress it up a little bit as well. Okay, I'm back in jeans because honestly, this base layer is what I wear a ton working from home. But if you need to be more dressed up, you could easily swap this for a trouser, but I love the baggy jeans down onto these little silver heels and then if I were doing like a zoom call I could dress it up with a little blazer like this and with this look I would also wear the navy bucket bag because I like the navy elements in the blazer well, let me show you similar but different I've also done looks like this with my leather blazer let me swap out the pant to show y'all how that would look if you needed more of a trouser okay I swapped the jeans out for a green satin trouser to make the look a little bit more dressy and then I would probably first again do the snake bag just because I like the elements that it adds now let's do some dinner looks so the other day I wore this look with a boxy crop tee that was shorter so I could kind of half tuck 
pocket, but since we're sticking with this tee today, I have it kind of tucked in and bloused over. These pants are just so high-waisted, but I did wear this like this the other night to dinner, just this water draped over. Then if you're cold, it's easy to throw it on. And I would again carry the pillow tabby with this look. I thought this was super fun and like very on point with my personal style because I love the ruffles. I love the cargo. I love these little silver heels. Okay, switched into some baggy black jeans. The leather jacket would be cute for like a nighttime look in the little pillow tabby. But I was actually thinking of taking this old J. Crew striped top with the tool sleeves. It's probably from, I don't even know, like 2000. 16 or 2015. I haven't tried this before yet either, but maybe tying it and go look in the mirror and see how this. Okay, yeah, I think that this could be cute, but I would also think about maybe just draping it more casually. And ideally, I feel like the sweaters that you drape would be more oversized than this top is, but I thought that the tool would add like a fun touch. Let's do some night looks next. Okay, I changed into a black bra. I don't know if you guys can tell on camera, but I think it's fun whenever your white tee is a little bit sheer and you can see through it, especially for nighttime. It just adds a little chic extra layer. And then I have on leather trousers and keeping the silver heels. I really like this look. Again, I could do either my coach pillow tabby that Hunter got me or this coach like puff madison i actually scored this at the tanker outlets it's a retail bag but they had it at the outlet and i got it through a partnership that i did with Tanker outlets a few years ago but either one of these bags i would do i used to love wearing little mini skirts whenever i used to go out a lot so another look that i would do be my black leather blazer and a little black mini skirt these used to be my go-to going out boots i don't know if you guys can tell on camera but they're absolutely trashed and then i would again pick a pop of color for the bag just to add a little bit more interest which you could also do with the skirt i just love this little black mini skirt though it's actually a skirt. it's shorts in the back but it used to be one of my favorites is the camera not rolling before <sighs> i just filmed this look and i don't need the camera okay so this look was inspired by one that i saw where the girl was wearing like black and tan gingham shorts which i am obsessed with black and tan gingham right now i don't know what it is for this look she had on a pattern short with the leather blazer little white tee and then i'm gonna do these black cowgirl boots i used to wear these a ton back whenever i was going out more now if i go out it's very casual like the option that i showed that was like black denim a leather jacket and the white tee that would be very appropriate for the kind of going out that i do now now. She also had like tight to your thigh stiletto boots. They were not cowgirl and I thought that that was super cute but this is the closest that I have if I want to stick with the black. Again I wish my shorts had more color in them but they just don't. And I would probably again do this crossbody just to keep the pop of color. Next let's do a few summer looks since we're going into spring which will be followed by summer of course. I try to only show y'all stuff that I would actually wear in real life and this might feel a little boring but this is something that I wore last summer and that I will continue to wear this summer so I just have a colorful bikini on underneath. You can kind of see through the tee a little bit in person. I don't know if that's picking up for you guys. And then these guest denim thrifted. They're like linen but also they have these cargo pocket pants. I live in these in the summer. Bye y'all. Thanks for watching.